Hey everybody, welcome to day three of Vlogmas. Today I'm very happy to share with you some products that I'm really keen on wanting to try. I bought these products like maybe a month or two ago and I still haven't tried them out yet. Um, although there is one product that I have been using consistently, um, if not more that I can see. But anyway, let's get into the products that I'm really excited to start trying out really, really soon. So basically the first one that I purchased is the micellar cleansing water milky water by garnier skin active and it's pretty much just a makeup remover but it like in a milky form so i use the micellar water the clear one the one that's the blue one for gentle you know the one that's for eyes and lips and it's pretty much um it's the blue one so this is the one that i have been using and I don't mind it I still find that this can actually irritate my eyes so the blue one here is the micellar cleansing water and oil delicate eyes and skin but I still find yeah like it does irritate my eyes but this one I'm keen to try it I haven't tried it out yet so we're going to give it a whirl and see how effective it is at removing um, the mascara and makeup but I'll just read the back of it so it basically says the all-in-one cleansing solution put my glasses on hold on okay glasses are on they're probably filthy let me just give them a wipe down glasses are on okay the all-in-one cleansing solution if you're looking for an efficient fast and easy to use cleanser try Garnier's micellar milky water in one gesture it cleanses removes makeup impurities and pollution while hydrating and comforting dry and sensitive skin how does it work this formula combined the efficacy and freshness of micellar cleansing water, so micellars capture makeup and impurities like a magnet to effectively cleanse without rubbing. Well, we usually, that's how micellar water pretty much works. A touch of milk in a lightweight texture to hydrate and comfort skin, reducing feeling of tightness with no greasy or sticky finish. So that's going to be a claim, isn't it? Because sometimes even just normal clear water leaves your skin a little bit tacky and sticky doesn't it uh, thanks to its optimal tolerance and comfort it suits even sensitive skin no perfume how to use it with one cotton pad and without rubbing apply on face eyes and lips no rinsing required so cotton pads I don't actually use cotton pads I use the reusable cotton pads the ones that you can actually wash over and over and over and over again so obviously I'm sure you'll be able to use it with that no problem at all so this is the milky cleansing milky water and let's let's just see how we're going to go with using this i hope it's good but it was a new product picked it up and very keen to try it so i'm just put that aside now now what i have been using and i've been using this for a while is this jumbo size cinema secrets makeup brush cleanser quick drying rinse free formula it smells so highly of vanilla that it can make me feel a little bit nauseous at times but boy oh boy is it fantastic at taking off makeup off your makeup brushes i got this off amazon i got the big jumbo size this is the 32 ounce 946 ml so it's nearly a liter um, of makeup cleanser now the way i do this is i actually have one of those machines where you stick the brush in and you turn it on and it spins inside that little thing and it dries it up well what i do is i use all my um, brushes to effectively take off the makeup and then i quickly dry them in that little device that i've got which i'll do a little video on how i do that but usually with that device that you get it comes with its own cleanser and it's pretty much all alcohol based now the reason why they dry so quickly with the makeup brushes is because it's a highly concentrated um, alcohol formula and i've been using this consistently to clean my brushes and i haven't found my brushes to be drying out or anything like that so i do highly recommend this excellent product and yeah so the cinema secrets makeup brush cleaner and yeah so i've got a whole heap more left and i think it's economical getting a big jumbo size because i do think you need to be hygienic with cleaning your brushes on a 
on a fairly regular basis that's in my opinion now moving on to the next product which i have just recently started to use and it's the rewind retinol serum hit the rewind button on skin frank body retinol serum cream i kept the box so i could read off it but basically i'll take it out i've been using this now i'm on my fourth night and pretty much it's a retinol serum cute little bottle and basically it just says apply a piece sized amount in the evening after cleansing use once or twice a week to start work up every second day well i'm used to retinol so i've been using it every day pretty much and i haven't noticed any kind of breakouts i haven't noticed any type of flaking i haven't noticed any type of dryness um so we'll have to see how it goes in terms of treating fine lines and maybe even like diminishing dark spots so i'll read what this actually says so you're ready to hit rewind apply a piece-sized amount to cleanse skin before bed use me twice a week working up to every second day i'll knock your socks and spots off well let's see about that right um it says get to know me i'm a time machine for skin hit rewind on fine lines scars and sunspots hello to all of that um, I do it all in a single pump and unlike other retinol based products I'm made with ingredients that won't stretch the skin now I haven't been using a single pump I go in with two pumps because I like to also take it down my neck as well and I so far am liking it it doesn't have a terrible smell like some other retinol products that I've used oh god that one by Sisley no Sunday Riley sorry Sunday Riley the retinol cream by Sunday Riley my goodness that just it's a terrible smell um and i didn't even think that it did anything i mean i used the whole bottle up like i used the whole bottle up ages ago and i was like i mean i don't think it did anything at all so we'll see how this little thing goes and basically they're the ingredients there if you just want to check them out hit pause and have a look at the ingredient list there but looks so good i mean i'll give you guys a little pump of the consistency for this there we go just a nice fluid and it sinks it sinks in doesn't take forever to you know sink into the skin which is what i love about this so yeah i am on my Tonight will be the fifth day that I've been using this retinol serum and um, retinol cream, sorry. Yeah, retinol, well, rewind retinol serum. So I'll just give you guys a quick look of the bottle um, of the actual package, the packaging there, which is that there. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean, do you guys have a favorite retinol product that you like to use and that, that's actually quite effective? I really do find that with retinol products that, I don't know, I mean, maybe I'm not getting them strong enough for my skin. Maybe I just need to get a much more highly concentrated retinol product to use, but I'm scared to get those. And, you know, I was using the, um, the one by Drunk Elephant came in a little cap retinol -y or something god i can't even remember the name of it anyway i'll have it listed up here but even that i used that all up and i found that it just didn't do much i mean i couldn't really see the great big difference that it made to my skin let's put it like that okay all right next product heard really good reviews about this face this Bondi Sands Daily Moisturising SPF 50 for the face. And this was sold out in the shops for a while. And when it finally came out, I was able to grab it. So it's fragrance free. Sunscreen lotion with vitamin E 72 hour hydration reef friendly Australian made. And so Bondi Sands face cream. Now I haven't used this yet because I've got some other sunscreens that obviously you know that I love the L to MD SPF 46 UV clear sunscreen and I'm 
basically using that at the moment i'm also using the new one by garnier which is the pioneer c with spf 15 and it's like a a skin serum but with spf 15 so i've been using that as my sunscreen now of course you can use multiple sunscreens if you know anything about my skincare routine is that i do not stick diligently to one product i am always interchanging i'm always swapping i'm always using this and that and mixing them all up because i like to have different products at hand for different for, for depending on how i feel throughout the day so skincare is always on a rotational basis and it changes daily so especially even with my nighttime routine i have maybe a handful of different products that i will you know i'll use that one night this the other night and you know how it is i'm sure you guys understand what i'm talking about so let's read the back of this enjoy sun soaked day the bondi sands way with our daily moisturizing face spf 50 plus sunscreen lotion providing uva and uvb protection our water resistant formula is gentle fast absorbing and dries up to an invisible non-greasy finish i hope it's non-greasy hate it when they're greasy um, formulated to deliver up to 72 hours of hydration with added aloe vera and vitamin e to leave your skin feeling deeply moisturized can be worn alone or under makeup dermatologically tested suitable for sensitive skin non-comedogenic one o'clock pores reef friendly paraben free sulfate free step one shake well before use apply liberally and evenly to all unprotected areas 15 to 20 minutes before exposure to the sun it's cruelty free uh yeah so really really um excited to give this one a go i might start using this sometime this week and i'll obviously do a review on what i what my thoughts are on this on this product but um yeah like i said i was very keen to pick this up and i heard some really great reviews about it so i thought why not i have tried um some other products like the, the sunday haze by bondi sands sunny days or something no sunny days yeah uh with the d-a-z-e the way it's spelt it's a bit tinted didn't like the smell didn't finish it up got rid of it i mean wasted product yeah Oh, the other one by Dermatologica, the physical sunscreen, the, oh, I chucked a whole bottle of that pretty much. Um, I got rid of that as well um, because it was like, I found that it was just so tacky on the skin and white cast. Boy, did it leave a white cast. Uh, yeah, so wasn't a big fan of that but um hopefully this will be good the next thing that i wanted to pick up and i did pick it up is the silk amino mega moisturizer mega moisturizing masker deep moisture silk silk amino acids this is by drunk elephant it's for the hair a no build up deep conditioning treatment that strengthens smooths and softens extra thirsty damaged or color processed hair marula butter sunflower fatty acids and panthenol penetrate to replenish and sealing moisture while fortifying blend of hydration boosting and hair smoothing agents restore shine and touchability this super rich moist this super rich nourishing cream doesn't contain a drop of sulfates or harsh stripping surfactants for the ultimate for the ultimate body bounce and shine hold the frizz suggested use after cleansing the hair with the drunk elephant shampoo of your choice no you don't have to use shampoo from junk drunk elephant to use this um, of your choice anyway apply a small amount of silk amino masker starting at the ends and working up to the roots wait one to three minutes and rinse well for a deeper weekly treatment, apply a generous amount, comb through to dispense evenly and wait 20 to 30 minutes before rinsing. Avoid contact with eyes. Free of sulfates, silicones, essential oils, fragrance, dyes and drying alcohols. There, there's the back of the package there, but yeah, um, oh, it's got one of those foil things in here, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to open it up yet but i am going to start using this soon so 
I heard some good reviews about this, guys. I don't know. Have you tried it? It's sounds. It's, it's actually in collaboration with Chris McMillan, who is Jennifer um, Jennifer Aniston's hairstylist and um, colorist, hair colorist, hairstylist. I'm not sure, but Chris McMillan and Drunk Elephant, as you can see there. So that's who it's in collaboration with. I believe this is. I believe this product has been around for some months now, and I didn't really know because I don't follow Drunk Elephant consistently 100%. Although I really, really, really do love their products. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Drunk Elephant, but I don't like follow them, you know, every step of the way with what they're doing. But um, yeah, so I thought this would be a good thing to try for my hair. I do love Olaplex. Um, I have actually picked up my second bottle of the Olaplex 4. Uh, this is the uh, blonde toning shampoo, so helps to just combat the brassiness um, of, of the hair. And I love it. Pretty much really effective. It doesn't dry the hair out. And usually when I do use this, I'll use this just on its own. I'll lather it up leave it in for about five minutes tones the hair really well wash it out and then i don't uh, actually go in with a uh, conditioner after that i not all the time obviously i do use conditioner when i shampoo my hair but when i don't use conditioner i go in with the that other product the one that's the k19 is it k19 k18 <laughs> i'll leave it up here so you can know what i'm talking about but Boy, oh boy, it's such a great product. And, you know, it's the one where you just do like two to four pumps on the hair. Then after four minutes, you can go ahead and style it with other leave-in cream. I usually go in with the Olaplex 6 and uh, put that in and then wait for it to dry a bit and go ahead and blow dry my hair. But, yes, yeah, so hopefully we'll see how good this is with, um, because I, I don't know, I do like a nice deep conditioning conditioner. So we'll, we'll have to see how this goes. Okay. And basically, second last product, even though um, the one, this one here is by, let's talk about this one for you, might as well. Uh, this is Ultra Repair Cream. I did try a sample of this and I picked up a bottle of it, which is brand new. Well, obviously it is brand new, but I'm still working my way through the little sample of this. But this is so freaking good in terms of moisturizing the face. I use this as my nighttime cream every single night and I love it. First Aid Beauty really, really does have some beautiful products. I love their coconut primer, that moisturizing coconut smoothie primer. I wish I could eat that product. That's how much I love it. But basically, anyway, this is so lovely. It's the directions are apply from head to toe once or twice a day or as needed. I do not put this down on my body. It's only applied on my face and basically yeah i love i love the way it makes my skin feel i know that sometimes when you wash your face with certain cleansers it can feel a little bit tight but this takes that all away so really really love this this is basically the ultra repair cream and it's been around for a while this one so i picked it up when um sephora had their 20 percent off sale and yeah so love this product so much okay now the final product guys it's a drunk elephant product and it's the ceramide af eye balm and basically it's this little box here which i haven't tried yet and i was looking for an eye cream because the eye cream that i'm using at the moment and i do have multiple eye creams that i alternate through usually it's the fab fit um it's usually the um first aid beauty the triple retinol cream under the eyes but i finished that so then i had the holy hydration elf eye cream which i'm currently using at the moment as my eye cream and um yeah so i thought i'd pick this up as well it's a new eye cream and it's basically by drunk elephant i do have the other one by drunk elephant which is called the i don't know the multivitamin eyes and it comes in a pump but I find that it kind of burns my eyes a little bit but maybe I'm applying it too close to the eyes I don't know maybe it's it's quite rich um, 
but yeah i put that away i mean i had i didn't get rid of it but it's another it's the it's another eye cream it comes in a pump but basically this one caught my eye and i thought hmm let's give this a go and it's basically three percent ceramide blend ten percent plant omega lipid complex and these are the ingredients on the back there should you want to check those out but let's read the back and see what it actually says a cushiony deeply replenishing eye balm with barrier strengthening ceramides omega rich plant oils and fatty acids and powerful antioxidants compounds it delivers deep long lasting moisture reinforces skin's barrier restores elasticity and soothes tired dry skin around the eyes for a refreshed well rested look so let's take this out of the packet Cute little. Yeah, see the other eye cream that I have. Um, I'll just go get it. Okay, so the other eye cream that I have, it's the C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream, which is this one. And this is the one that I picked up. So this is the one that burns my eyes a bit. And I've only used it like a couple of times, so it's all still quite full. I'll just bring that up a bit closer so you can see it there and that's the new one I picked up but basically yeah so we'll see how it goes I mean this one here has got vitamin C in it and it says a rich and moist a rich a rich and restorative eye cream featuring a brightening combination of eight peptides five forms of vitamin C and cucumber extract for firmer stronger looking skin around the eye area I really wanted to love this product. I mean, obviously the claims that it says and, you know, maybe I am using it too close to the eyes and that's why it's burning it. So I will continue to try this, but I am going to be starting on this eye cream, but I want to finish my Holy Hydration eye cream by e.l.f. because it's nearly finished and I, you know, not that I can't open this up and start playing, you know, testing it out sooner. Um, which I can do. It all depends on how I'm feeling, I suppose, you know. But, um, yes, yeah, so that's it, the Ceramide AF. Maybe is that as, as, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, probably. Anyway, yeah, so guys, that's, that's that. Do you guys have this? Have you tried it? What are your thoughts? Don't forget to remove the at suspicious six from your team for even better results. What the hell is that? It's on the back of the package there. Does anyone understand that? I mean, they're quite quirky. Some of the things that they come with, come out with um, the drunk elephant guys. Don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it's cute nevertheless. So. So guys, that is pretty much all. Oh look, one more product. I'm so sorry. Heal Balm. NSA Heal Balm. Do you guys suffer from cracked heels? If so, you need this product. This product is the absolute best. You will notice the difference like in like overnight. Seriously. If you have dry cracked heels. I actually put this on my elbows as well. You're not supposed to, but it doesn't say you can't, but I do anyway. This is absolutely amazing at giving your heels that baby butt smoothness. And I'm talking my heels are cracked. Like, I don't know why I have this condition, but maybe because I suffer from sweaty hands and feet, and then when they dry, it sort of cracks my heels. I don't know. I mean, it's just the way it is. I was born that way, but... Guys, this is absolutely amazing, this product. it's The, the brand is called NS8 Plunkett NS8 Heel Balm Cream. And seriously, I've put my auntie onto this and I've put a couple of my friends onto this and they swear by it as well. Now they're, you know, this is my second bottle that I've gone through. This is my second, sorry, not gone through. This is my second tube that I've picked up and they gave you an extra 25% so yeah I picked this up and I love it basically it's, it says um, I'll just read the back of it here 
Enosate Heal Balm Complex is a natural non-greasy intensive formulation which is easily absorbed and provides fast relief for rough, cracked, dry or thickened heels and feet. Massage a small amount into heels and feet at least twice a day until restored. Then use twice a week to maintain condition. And it's made in Australia as well. So guys, I highly recommend this. Once you get your heels under control, you just only need to use it once or twice a week to maintain that nice softness and that's pretty much it. So guys, thank you so much for watching this day three of Vlogmas and I will link all the products that I've talked about in the description box below should you want to check them out. And I will see you all again tomorrow for day four of Vlogmas. Guys, have a lovely evening or night or day wherever you are and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.